I knew him in the X shop. Yeah. Ed Farber. Yeah, I heard that X shop. Yeah. yeah. Great guys, bunch of great guys. Paul DeMille, who isn't here tonight, he worked with them. Okay. And then uh, your father was down in the in the office, wasn't he? What was he doing? Oh, and then he moved up there, didn't well, he? He was a machinist, and then he was on assembly when they ran out of machining work to do. After a while, uh, there was less and less machining. So. Yeah, but he didn't go to the X shop? His last years. Um, I think he might have been in it for a while. Yeah, I believe so. I think he was in it for a while, but as time went on, I mean, he didn't retire until the 80s at some point, late 80s, whatever. And how about you? When did you work there? Nine years ago. I worked there from 96 to 2000. Doing what? Yeah, at uh, GR Technologies. Bill. Really? Uh, software. No kidding. No, uh, See, I was gone. I left in 86 or so. Yeah. But the name, of course, that famous name at GI. I, I never would have thought I would have gone there, but it just... Uh, it's you know, three I, generations, for so, God's uh, sakes, you know? I just saw an ad and went for it. Yeah, it was, it was funny. It was really yeah. it's my grandfather's long gone. My father's still alive. Is he? Is he? Yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he's like 86 now. He's yeah. Like yeah, he may remember me. I don't my know if he will. Away a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, Where are you living at? I live in Shrewsbury. Yeah. And where's your father? He's, he's still in Walton. Is he? He's, uh, yeah, he, uh, I think, uh, I grew up in one house in Waltham, on Chapla Road. But then uh, they, uh, my parents split off the land in back of the house, built a new one back there and sold off the old house. What number? Where are... What, what number, Trapolo Road? Uh, 1789. 1739? 1789, yeah. Because I go by there all the time to go to Staples down there on Le Lexington uh, Street. I was there today. Do you know Candlewood? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, I've seen the that. House on the corner of Candlewood and Trapolo. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of raised up. Yeah. That's the old house. Yeah. The one on Candlewood and back of it, 15, yeah. the ranch. Yeah. That's the newer one. And the school is across the street there, uh, Carroll School, that moved into where the. Uh, it used to be an old folks. Uh, oh, the retirement. The, yeah. It's right on the Lincoln line. It's on the bottom it, of the hill. Okay, okay, the, uh, okay. Where, where we live is at the top of the hill. Yeah, I thought right that where was... Right makes the bend uh, yeah, yeah. the top of the hill. Yeah. The inside of the bend, that's where I grew up. Good. But now you're not there, so I can... I don't have to slow down <laughs> going yeah, by. Well, and also, the drive, we, our driveway used to become right out of the inside of that curve. But then... Um, <clears throat> Well, after we uh, uh, sold the house, so the people who bought it filled in that driveway and built a driveway out the back onto Candlewood. Yeah. Because that, that driveway was dangerous. I mean, like, uh, you know, there used to be, actually, I remember one, you know, for a long period of time, there were a lot of accidents on that curve. Yeah. We'd be sleeping and we'd hear a yeah. screech, yeah, crack, bang. look out the window. Yeah. My father would just go over to the phone, pick it up, and call the police. Another accident. Another one. <laughs> If you look it out. Good. Well, good to meet you. I didn't know you. I mean, I'll say hi to your friends. Hi.